How's it going today guys? Catch Release Fishing. I'm back here at Racine Locks and Dam on the Ohio River, West Virginia border. We're going to go out here and try for some hybrids. I got my buddy Dave with me. Go out here and see what we can catch. I got some new live target baits I bought on sale at Dick's. This little uh, live, live uh, bait ball, little crank baits, and they also got like the spinner rig. Looks like a spinner bait and an umbrella rig hybrid. So I'm gonna throw that down here. Also gonna throw some jerk baits. Let's go see if we can't catch some river monsters, guys. Let's go! All right, guys, the first bait I'm gonna throw on is this Life Target spinner, spinner rig. It's like an umbrella rig and a spinner bait had a baby. Pretty awesome, match the hatch kind of thing down here. I'm gonna give it a shot, see if we can't catch one on it. Absolute millions of fish. Oh, hooked up. First cast. What we get? Let's go. Yeah, yeah, Little hybrid. First cast. Oh, chill, buddy. Yep. Little hybrid. Check it out. First cast with the live bait rig. There you go, buddy. Live target. All right, guys. I kind of went heavy today. Just because there's some big hybrids down here and I want to be able to put up a nice fight against them. So this is the loose, medium heavy, fast action, TP1 series speed stick. I, this is my rod. I have this one, I have a medium action and I also have a medium light action and just it's the rod I use probably for now on. I just love the action, it's really light, it pairs well with the Daiwa Tatula. But also got my 15 pound braid. Got a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader tied on with a uni knot. Got about two and a half feet of leader. Then I'm gonna throw this X strap too today. Just a bigger profile. Try to get some bigger fish. I'm gonna cast out here in this ripping raging current. I'll see what happens. Oh, hooked up. Feels nice. He smoked it. What do we got? <laughs> we foul hook. It's a nice fish. Felt a lot heavier than what it is, but we will take it. Dude, watch these corners. They're just getting blown up. See that? Right here. Cast your bait over there, man. Oh! Shoot! Alright, is he good? Is he out? Yeah. It's starting to get a little dark, but fish are getting real active right here in front of me. Hitting these bait schools. Alright guys, I know it's hard to tell right now. Kind of hard to see, but I'm throwing a little mini X wrap, a little three incher. I think it's two and a half. We're still having fish get hammered to the left of me. Hooked up! There we go. Got something nice. Oh yeah. This feels good. He's digging. Oh, this is nice. Just destroyed that little x wrap He's swimming over to my left. Ooh! Nice fish. Dave, I got biggin'. Oh. Walleye! Come here, buddy. Big walleye, big walleye. Let's go! Oh, 
big, big walleye. All right, guys, I moved over here in the light so you can see 24 inch walleye, Ohio River. I've been going after fish for a minute, this fish for a minute now. They're over in that corner just bashing those little minnows. Gorgeous. All right, guys, just hammered a nice 24 inch walleye here at Racine. Probably four pounder or so. Check that fish out. Awesome fish. Hit that little, the little baby X trap. They're hammering bait fish over there through the X trap a couple times. Gave it a twist, let it pause, and he destroyed it. 10 pound braid. Awesome walleye. Just one inch shy of Fish Ohio. We're going to let him go. We'll kind of toss him. Let's go, baby! Should have got a picture of it. Didn't get a picture of it. That walleye? Oh, you didn't, oh, you didn't get a walleye? You got the walleye video. Yeah. It's my PB walleye. Nice walleye. That's a nice walleye anyway. That bite kind of shut down over there. Like, just the minnows stopped jumping. But for the solid, like, half hour as it was getting dark, it was just non- Oh, hooked up. We got here. Sauger. <laughs> I think it's a sauger. Yeah. Well, the sauger are moving up <laughs> into the shallows, Dave. What the heck is that? Sauger. Oh, Can't really see him. It's like a 14 incher. Little sauger. Sauger. There you go, buddy. Much better light down here. Oh, Dave's hooked up. I got a net, bub. You want to sling him? Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Oh, foul. No foul. What are you talking about, foul? Is it? Heck no. Oh, you got him. All yeah. Right. What are you talking about? It's in his face. I thought it was on the outside. I watched that whole thing happen too. That was crazy. Oh, no. Dave got a little. I think it's a white bass. Hey. Hey. Nice, 13 and a quarter incher. Hit on the flicker, Shad. Not too bad. Pitch him out. All right, guys, that's going to end the action here at the Ohio River, Racing Locks and Dam. I accomplished my goal. I wanted to get a walleye out of the Ohio River this year, and it was a dandy. 24 and an eighth inch walleye caught on a little X wrap. I'll show you. Right here on my medium rod. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's dark, but just a little two and a half, three inch X wrap. Over there in that cove, they were hammering bait fish right before dark. And I know that video is kind of hard to see, but those fish over there for the last 30 to 45 minutes of sunlight, all those predatory fish had those bait fish trapped in that corner and they were just destroying everything. And I couldn't hit, get them to hit any swim baits or anything, so I switched over to the little x trap, matched the hatch like I did in my last video, and just tore it up. I caught that walleye. We caught some nice hybrids. Dave got a white bass. It was a successful day. We came down here at like 6.30. We fished for about three and a half, four hours almost. Had an eventful day. Awesome day here at the Ohio River. Hope you enjoyed the action. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go!